Hi, this is Jort with Next Level Jewelry, helping you leverage the best of existing IT solutions for your jewelry business. So I'm starting this uh, YouTube channel to help uh, the many jewelry businesses out there that are struggling to implement uh, technology solutions that can clearly grow their business and run more efficient operations. Um, while a small business um, can operate more or less without you know, much technology altogether, uh, without having to understand or uh, invest into any tech, uh, it can lose precious minutes and hours uh, of every day choking on paperwork and uh, tasks that larger businesses already have automated. So in order to keep up with other more efficient businesses, it is unthinkable at this time and age uh, to do so without any technology at all, especially information technology and also known as IT. Technology uh, and more specifically IT is advancing at a great speed. Uh, the question is whether you want to understand it and observe the trends and see the opportunities and possibilities or uh, whether you want to wait until it catches up with you at which point however it will be probably too late for you to start using it and you will be left behind everybody else. So on this channel I will be focusing on specific aspects of information technology with emphasis on the uses of technologies that can help uh, your operations and sales as well as uh, IT news that may affect you or your business down the road so that you can be prepared to what's coming. In terms of uh, technology, uh, specifically from the uh, business point of view, uh, there are uh, really two aspects. I call them the visible and the invisible aspects. One is physical or tangible, uh, one that you can sink your teeth into, and another uh, is sort of like ghostly, elusive, and uh, sometimes scary. Uh, visible aspects of technology are related uh, to tech that affects what you are producing uh, and thus it shows up in your products, it shows up in the uh, quality of workmanship. These can be clearly seen and acted upon. Um, invisible aspects, however, um, are those that affect how you are producing, um, how fast can you design and manufacture jewelry, how much your margin is um, on your products, how efficient your business is, how good your communication is with your customers, and so on. While the visible aspects are very important, it is uh, the invisible aspects that usually make or break a business. So why is that? Why are people not focusing more on these? The reason is that visible aspects are much easier to detect and control. Um, if a casting has porosity, you can fix it. If a diamond breaks, uh, you can replace it, um, and so on. So you can create quality control steps for any issues that arise from production uh, errors because they are visible. Now, on the other hand, invisible aspects are much harder to pinpoint. Time lost uh, due to inefficient communication, uh, lost sales due to uh, ineffective sales processes, reduced revenue uh, due to uh, inefficient production processes, and so on. These are all problems that require extensive research and observation in order to even see that there are problems, uh, let alone coming up with uh, effective solutions for them. So for me personally, uh, working with over uh, 200 jewelry businesses to date, um, I can attest that most of these businesses have the visible aspects under control. However, only the savviest of them have the invisible problems uh, in sight, and even them don't always know the extent of their problems fully or are actively working on solutions, uh, just because they don't know how. Uh, because other businesses are not really focusing on the invisible aspects of their business, your best chance to move ahead of them, to mo move ahead of your competitors, uh, is to find these invisible issues and control for them, um, and even to find working solutions for them. So how do you go about uh, doing that? Um, well, let's break down the obvious invisible problems. Uh, number one, speed and productivity issues. So this is the most obvious. Um, uh, even though you might not see how your uh, company measures up against others in terms of speed, you probably have a gut feeling whenever your production is slower than it should be. So again, while there are many visible ways uh, to increase productivity, such as using CAD software, 3D printing, faster computers, and so on, everybody's doing that. But what really makes the biggest impact are things such as tracking and quantifying the steps of the production process, the amount of labor used, the efficiency of individual employees, um, so that you know this entire process can be holistically understood and managed. Number two, just-in-time inventory. 
So a visible inventory management process is straightforward. Uh, you need a specific type of small diamond, let's say a two millimeter round uh, VS1. So you open the storage box, um, you look into it, it's empty. So now you have to place an order and buy more. Now this is a straightforward process and it's also as inefficient as it can be as now you have to wait uh, for the diamonds to arrive. Now a better but invisible way of doing this is uh, if the diamonds are ordered so that they arrive exactly at the time when you need them for. So uh, the right system can do this for you. Another advantage of just-in-time inventory is that you don't have a pile of diamonds sitting in a drawer, you know, tying down your money. Uh, you can use that money to procure better equipment, um, better software, whatever makes things go better for your business. Or even use uh, uh, that money to increase your sales by uh, investing into online marketing, for example. Number three, minimizing human errors. A well-known fact is that you must make mistakes. Um, and while mistakes can be annoying, they can also have a great impact on the profitability of a company. So if you have a complex production process, the chances are great that something will go wrong somewhere, resulting in a delayed order and possibly an angry customer. Now, if that customer is pissed off enough, as some of them are, um, they can voice their dissatisfaction on uh, the internet in a very public uh, way. Thus, a simple thing like, you know, CAD or casting mistake can snowball into thousands of dollars uh, of lost revenue and a lot of bad publicity. You don't want that. Um, while it's impossible to eliminate human errors, it is possible to control uh, for most of them by automating quality and delivery time controls, as well as establishing error correction routines and protocols. Uh, number four, faster, better data-driven decisions. Um, another fact, numbers don't lie. So you might think that since uh, you are running a small business, you have a complete overview of everything and making the right decisions all the time. Uh, while this can be true, uh, in some cases, maybe, it is much more likely that you are making mistakes. Um, you just don't know about them because you are basing those decisions on bad or insufficient data. So if you have access uh, to relevant data in real time in an organized and transparent way, you can undoubtedly make much better decisions. Um, thus, integrating all your business data in a way that makes sense for your business and existing processes can make uh, the difference between a good decision and a decision that uh, can haunt you for a long time, also known as a bad decision. Um, number five, better customer service. So it is imperative for your business that your clients see it in the best possible way, right? So after all, uh, when it comes to jewelry, your customers buy not just the jewelry, but the experience too. So as such, interaction with the customer, whether it's pre-sale or post-sale, it's also very important. So for example, can you show or explain your customers in detail how their jewelry is made? Uh, can you provide them with uh, an instant quote uh, for customizing a ring? Instant. Can you tell them the exact day uh, when their custom jewelry will be delivered? Are you providing them with real-time status updates? So. I know that if I'm buying an expensive uh, ring, $50,000 custom ring, for example, I want to know even the name of the designer or the name of the goldsmith who is doing the engraving. Can you give them this information without them asking? Now, if yes, great. So then you are one step closer to customer service Nirvana. If not, I will show you how to do that in one of the later videos. Um, number six, boosting your online sales. Online sales these days affect anyone who sells any kind of product. In fact, if you're not selling online, you are missing out on serious profits. This is especially true for jewelers who are seeing a big portion of what used to be a face-to-face -face sales move completely online. So companies like Blue Nile and Brilliant Earth, uh, for example, only sell online. Others that used to be strictly brick and mortar like Zeus, Jared, K, uh, are increasingly selling online, followed by titans like Walmart, Amazon, and so on. Even small forward-looking shops are establishing online presence these days uh, with easy-to-use web shops like Shopify and Etsy. So if you are not involved in online sales yet, you are being left behind. Uh, so yes, online sales can be challenging, especially if you deal with custom jewelry. But with the right approach, it is entirely manageable and superbly profitable. Uh, and I will show you how to do that in uh, one of the future videos as well. Number seven, freeing up valuable time. Technology and automation of processes can be of significant help for small businesses, freeing up valuable time that is otherwise spent with non-value added uh, activities. Anything that does not add value to a product or service should be automated to the largest extent possible. You know, from creating a price code um, 
to keeping customers updated with the status of their orders, to invoicing and shipping. Anything that does not explicitly create value should be automated if it cannot be eliminated altogether. So things like calculating prices by metal and diamond markets, timekeeping, data entry, payment processing, any other administrative activities uh, of which even you know small companies have by the dozens can be done without much human intervention. The end result is the same. More time available for getting new customers and spending valuable time with existing ones. So that is what makes a business valuable and profitable. Um, as Marcus Aurelius, uh, the last good Roman emperor, said uh, nearly 2,000 years ago, one should spend his time with being more social, as men are social by nature. Anything not in accordance to his nature is, as you guessed it, not natural. So let's free up some time and be natural. Let's focus on what matters most, you know, your customer. And I'll show you how to do that. Number eight, increasing competitiveness. Companies that uh, recognize the value of technology and invest time and money into understanding and implementing technological improvement will always find themselves enjoying a competitive advantage over those who don't. You know, the ones uh, who ignore the possibilities that technology has to offer. Now, higher efficiency, growth, new opportunities are all ways uh, for businesses to thrive and remain competitive. Um, and for example, you know, did you know that large companies like Apple and Google invest 24% of their profits into researching and developing new technologies, uh, while most other companies invest only 7% on average? And you know, that is the exact reason why uh, you know, these large companies are leaving all other companies in the dust when it comes to growth and profitability. So whether you invest that time and money as much as you can sensibly afford into technological improvements, will shape the future of your business more than most other decisions you um, have to make. Uh, and, you know, throughout history, you know, technologies offered a stepping stone, sometimes a ladder, uh, and those using them first usually ended up winning and moving up, while others either died and disappeared from memory altogether. That's nothing new. So going back to the online example, there is a huge difference uh, between being one of the first hundred stores selling online or being the thousandth years later when the market is already distributed between the first few um, and saturated. So, do you want to learn all about how to increase uh, your delivery times, how to improve your processes, how to manage your inventory automatically, how to minimize errors while making faster and better, better decisions, providing exceptional customer service, boosting your sales by creating and managing an online presence, and freeing up time to work with your customers while increasing your competitiveness? If yes, please like and subscribe to this channel where I will bring you more videos on how you can do all this while leveraging information technology. Cheers.